Greetings, everyone. My name is Melky Degas. I have the distinct pleasure and the opportunity and the excitement to present to you Buddy Siebenlist. He is our project manager, and he is also the architect over our building construction project. We will be conducting a short interview with him. I pray that you enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, hello, Buddy. How are you today? Great. Thank you, Mel. It's a thrill to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, who are you, uh, what do you do, and um, just kind of a background information about yourself. Churches are, are the only type of project that we do. Uh, we've been doing that for about 25 years. Uh, and it started with a, a position on church staff at a mega church in Houston for me. I was the uh, director of facilities, the facilities manager there. A lot of architects and engineers get into that. and. Uh, as a mega church, it was just great experience to see all the things that a church needs and multi-purpose space and accessibility and deliveries and, and uh, image and acoustics and, and you name it, catering. Uh, and uh, because that church was a, a lot like Tabernacle of Glory was, you know, almost a seven day operation. And, uh, and so it was just great experience. Uh, to see what churches need in design and master planning, and uh, and I've been doing that ever since uh, '95. Oh, '95. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned '95. So, from what I understand, you you are an architect, and you've been doing it ever since '95. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit. Uh, where, where did you um, get your architecture and uh, degree from? I went to graduate school at the University of Houston. Okay. Uh, undergrad, it was in uh, at Louisiana Tech, uh, five-year degree there, and then and then uh, graduate school at Houston. Okay. Uh, and it's I uh, I love what I do. Uh, I, it was definitely a God thing to put me in this career because I, I thank Him every day for it. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, so we've established that you are. It sounds like you're very experienced with what you do and you do it well. Um, how many projects um, like this one have you done before? Well, I don't know if it's like this one, Mel, but uh, I've done uh, over 150 church projects, uh, you know, and a lot of them are, some of them were uh, gymnasiums, family life centers, not all of them were sanctuaries, but it, they were all church projects. They were all church projects, okay. So, uh, Tell me, what has been your experience so far with Tabernacle of Glory? Well, and I'm not saying this just because I'm, I'm interviewing with you and, and with the church here, but it's easily been the most dynamic project that I've ever had in my career. And I've, I've had some great ones, okay. uh, some that I'm very thankful for. Uh, but this project, just the, the people that I've been working with, the, the pastor, of course, is so dynamic and such a great leader. And uh, to see how it's evolved, I, I, I first met uh, the pastor and the building team in uh, the summer of 2015, so it's almost four years. Oh, wow. And um, it has evolved and grown, and uh, mm -hmm. it's just, it's really been impressive to see how the staff and the pastor led that, because it's grown tremendously. It's grown, okay. From when we first started. Okay. And uh, it's just been an amazing experience. Uh, for me to be a part of. Okay. So you were first contacted about this project in 2015, is that correct? That's right. Wow. What were your first impressions when you, know, you were contacted about a project such as this? I got a call about this time of year. Uh, I think uh, some people on the building team had seen our website, and okay. so uh, Maggie called me, and, uh, and then we set up a meeting in, in June. Uh, it's just grown and evolved uh, exponentially since then. I've never seen a project grow this kind of, you know, rocket kind of growth. Right. Uh, right. And it's clearly because of the, the ministry. Okay. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the growth of the project. Uh, so from 2015 to now, we're in 2019, how has the project grown since since that time that you were first contacted about the the project <laughs> did i say exponentially <laughs> already uh that's not an overstatement i don't think uh when we first started meeting uh, when i first met the the pastor in the church 
we were talking about an 8,000 square foot or so project. 8,000 square foot. Multi-purpose. Okay. And uh, again, this was four years ago. And so the church is obviously a lot different now than it was four years ago, even though it was a, a dynamic growing church then. But uh, 8,000 square feet, and today we're at just under 60,000 square wow. feet. And so the, uh, the scope, the, the, the work, the trades uh, have grown incredibly. It'll be, um, as you can see, it's a state-of-the-art building. Uh, technically, as buildings go, uh, mechanically, and, and all the rest, but certainly the audio video lighting is going to be second to none. Wow. And uh, I'm really excited that we're at this stage starting construction. Wow. I'm excited too. Yeah. From 8,000 square feet to a little under 60,000. That's right. Wow. I'm excited. Is that exponential? That, that is exponential. <laughs> Well, since we started on this project, uh, on this project since 2015, so tell us a little bit about key milestones that we're able to reach from 2015 up until this point. There are several in Miami. Miami uh, is among, if it's not the most notorious building department, uh, in, you know, in, in the country probably. And they're very thorough, very professional, of course, and which is, we want nothing less than that, but it's just known to be a very tedious permitting process. And so it started with zoning. Uh, of course, you can't, if you can't get zoning approved, then you don't have a project. And, and we applied for a variance in zoning, so we kind of, we pushed the envelope a little bit. We, we wanted the largest building that they would let us do, uh, the pastor did, the largest building on this site. And so we got a variance for that. And so it's not possible to build a bigger building than we're building on this property. Wow. And, uh, but zoning was a uh, five or six month process, which is kind of common. And uh, we were really excited once we got zoning approval. We knew that we would get it, but still mm -hmm. it's a, a mile marker, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest would just be the additions, the, the evolution of it that's come over the last, you know, three years or so. Uh, the audio video lighting, AVL, as we call it, uh, uh, the theatrical lighting. Uh, theatrical what lighting, okay. refers to in the sanctuary only. Okay. Of course, we have house lighting there and we, you know, lighting obviously in, throughout the building, but it's not the AVL lighting. and. Uh, that's the state-of-the-art technology that I was talking about a second ago. There'll be uh, an incredible uh, LED video wall, wow. um, one of the, the largest of any you know, uh, church that I've seen. I don't know that it is the largest, but uh, it's, it's in that category. Um, I think the pastor wants to do holograms and things like that, so it's just really uh, cutting edge technology that not all churches are doing, and it's going to distinguish this church beyond what it already is. Wow. So if I understand correct, uh, correctly in terms of lighting, audio, what this church is going to have is, is really state of the art, really. It is, absolutely. Wow. We interviewed the best people from all over the country, from East Coast, from Texas, and from California oh. to, to get the best people. So in an effort to find the best people in each department. We've had to interview the di people in different states and different areas to bring them in and kind of do that. Exactly. Wow, okay. Can you talk more um, in, in more detail as far as some of the other things? Um, we know that zoning was like a big part of uh, what we've been able to do. Um, any more details, anything else you want to share as far as what we've been able to uh, accomplish so far? Well, uh, the, uh, the economy is, has changed a lot since 2015, obviously. And so uh, one of our challenges, and all, you know, certainly for the church and its leadership, but for us as professionals and our consultants, engineers, and all the rest, uh, to manage the budget. And, uh, you know, in the last several years, we've seen a lot of... Uh, uh, improvement in our economy and so forth, and it has affected the, had an effect on this budget too. And mm -hmm. so, we've tried to manage that with the best, most cost-effective decisions without compromising, you know, any of the end results that the pastor wants. Um, this building 
is a tilt-up concrete panel structural construction uh, and it's curved tilt wall which tilt wall is uh, or tilt up I think is probably more accurate uh, there are concrete walls that are that are poured on the ground and then once they've cured they stand them up and uh, and and so they form the outer structure and it's load bearing and all mm -hmm. the rest uh, so it's it's a great system especially in Miami with hurricanes and high wind force and, and oh, all okay. that, okay. Uh, these concrete walls are over 12 inch thick. And so okay. acoustically uh, they're pure and, uh, and also they should be a great, you know, form a great shelter. Wow. But the fact that they're curved, you know, just a, a slight curve, they're not round, uh, but their curved tilt wall is unusual. Um, and we're, we're pushing the envelope a little bit on that. On and the curve? We're real excited to, you know, I think it's going to be the first curve tilt, tilt up church wow. in South Florida. First curve tilt up in South Florida. So even the curvature of the building is strategic in a sense where it protects the building in a way, even if there's a hurricane or some type of natural disaster, yes. the curvature allows for that type of protection. It does. It's actually stronger than if it were just a flat or straight panel. Uh, the curve gives it a lot more uh, compression strength. Okay, okay. So now we've um, we've done a lot so far as far as the building, as far as zoning and getting approvals. At what point are we at today? Um, with everything that we've done so far, would you say that are we in the beginning, the middle, or more at the end? of the project? Well, it's a good question um, because I've been obviously part of the whole thing and will be, um, it seems like we're way past the middle. Uh, and if you just look at the time frame, we started uh, in the summer of 15 and here we are in 19. Um, I know we don't have four more years left. Right. Uh, we're starting construction now. So the, the project is fully permitted uh, there was one little, <clears throat> excuse me, addition, a retaining wall that the civil engineer added um, last year, late last year, and um, we just got the uh, permit approval for that. So uh, the previous permit was approved in the, uh, the building was approved in the fall of 17, and then some subsequent utilities and so forth came early in 18. Uh, so that's all been approved, uh, but we just got the final approval of this retaining wall. So it, the project is fully approved. Fully approved. And that work is, is ongoing now. I, like I say, I, we're looking at, um, I think, two years uh, as a construction uh, term for this project. They could possibly be done, you know, sooner than that, uh, much sooner than that. But you know, to be conservative and so forth, allow for weather and all that, that's, that's the term we're looking at. So I would say long answer, but we're, we're certainly past halfway. Okay, so we're dead smack in the middle, even at the end of the middle, where we're maybe about to just start the end, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. We're, we're in the construction phase now, so we're not in planning, we're not in zoning, we're not in design. You know, we're not in engineering. All that's been accomplished, uh, and so it's just it's just the construction phase now. And um, as quick as we can get that done to the pastor schedule, that's what we're going to do. Okay, okay. You just mentioned uh, different steps that we had to go through to get to this place. So you mentioned zoning, planning. Uh, what else? What did you mention? Design. Design. Engineering. Engineering. All of those steps we've kind of been through already so zoning design engineering all that's been done and now we're beginning with the construction phase which is really kind of like the uh, you know the, the end phase of the the project yes it's the final phase you're right it's the final phase okay we're all excited for this building and uh, as the project manager my question is what do we need now in order to step foot in this building and, you know, finally see this vision accomplished? That's another great question. My first uh, Im impression response is I don't think you could keep this building from being 
built. So uh, it's it's definitely on a downhill slide now. Uh, we've got all the questions answered, all the approvals we need, all the boxes checked. The, the contractors understand what they're bidding on, what they're contracting for, which is a big thing in construction. A lot of times if they don't, they, it adds cost if they're vague about you know what they're what they're contracting for, mm -hmm. and so all that is behind us, and um, I, I think just the the love and support by the church body, you know, for the people that are are leading this thing is it's all that's required of the church from this point forward. Okay, okay. You mentioned earlier that uh, pretty soon we'll be uh, on the cover of a magazine. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, it's it's a trade magazine. It's called Architect Blueprint. Uh, but they contacted me last fall. They had heard about the project, and they wanted to write an article about my firm and about the project, of course. And uh, so after a little bit of negotiations with them, I uh, got them to agree to put it on the cover, and it is the, the lead article. And so I, I think that's coming out in May. She told me it was the, uh, uh, the second quarter of this year, so okay. it, it's imminent. And it'll wow. be very exciting. Uh, it's some of these images. Uh, there's a, a great image, kind of at twilight, that highlights the waterfall and the eternal flame from the Tabernacle of Glory logo, and uh, showing the twilight and uh, the fire and the uh, the building. It's it's it should be a beautiful cover. Wow, wow. Well, I am extremely excited for what's up ahead. Um, speaking of what's up ahead, so um, if someone were to, in the next few days or in the next few months, if someone were to drive by the construction site, what can they expect to see there? Well, I'm really glad you asked that, Mel, because a lot of times that happens and they don't, people don't see activity ongoing or they, or they, they don't see where much is, has taken place, uh, which really belies this the beginning stages of construction because there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. uh, mobilization, of course, is the first thing out of the gate, which has already started. Uh, that started yesterday. Okay. Uh, they're delivering heavy equipment, bulldozers, lifts, things like that to the site, the job trailer, uh, you know, telephone, temporary power, all that kind of stuff uh, is going in now. The retaining wall that I talked about a few minutes ago is uh, they've started that construction. Oh, they started the construction of the retaining wall you talked about? They have. Okay. Again, the, the, uh, the mobilization of Of it. course. Uh, the shop drawing process is a time-consuming one at this early stage. So, for example, there's shop drawings. Not, not every trade is required to have shop drawings, but things like structural steel, certainly. The, uh, the tilt-up panels, certainly, electrical, all the engineered trades, mechanical, HVAC, uh, irrigation, uh, landscape irrigation, fire sprinklers, fire suppression sprinklers, all that, they submit shop drawings to us as the architect and to our, our consulting engineers. And so that's ongoing now. And, and driving by the site, you're not, that's not you know, obviously going to make an impact on you know, when there's some professionals in an office somewhere working on shop drawings. But it's a very vital process, and it takes weeks and sometimes months. You know, and they come at different stages depending on what the trade is. So th all of that is ongoing now. Trust that we, we've got the throttle you know, full blown as much as we can. This pastor is ready to go and uh, we're trying to get as much accomplished out there. We're, as you know, as you've said, we're construction, we're the construction manager for this project and we're trying to manage it on the most aggressive schedule we can right now. The most aggressive schedule. Okay. So in the next couple, uh, couple of weeks to months, uh, if someone just randomly drives by, they should be able to see material uh, bulldozers, the equipment, and and uh, some of some of these materials as a sign that construction is underway and the th things are in the works uh, before uh, the project is completed. Correct? Yes, that's 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 all true. One thing I wanted to mention uh, by July first, uh, 
we think we're going to be erecting, the schedule is to be erecting uh, the tilt-up panels the by that time. Okay. So they, again, they pour those on the ground and let those cure for a week or so before they tilt them up. But that's, they'll be doing that with big cranes. That'll be a very exciting thing for the church body to see and the whole community because the building will really literally come together in just a few days once those panels are cured wow. then they start putting them in place and you can see the building immediately wow. so the construction may go on as long as t as 24 months but in the first four months or so you should be able to see the building taking place vertically wow okay so it takes a little bit of time to get to that point because there's a lot of um uh, background work that has to be done right. but as soon as the uh, tilt panel is up then you can kind of really see the building come together and like you said that'll be a very exciting time for us. exactly the roof well, will go on after that and the and then and then you won't see a lot you know it'll all be on the inside so when the church members drop by they need, need to remember that but wow. it'll come together fast well, buddy, we're excited. Um, I want to thank you for uh, coming all the way out here for uh, this short interview. Uh, thank you for uh, your hard work in this project. We really appreciate it. And uh, we know that God uh, also appreciates it because there's some, someone has to design the plan and do that part. And uh, you, you, using your, you're using your skills and your expertise for that. So uh, we want to thank you. Thank you again for interviewing me today. Thank you, Mel. Right. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here.